And right here we're just showing the parking spot for 23. There's the pool right there. And there's the unit. So there you can see the entrance to it. So we'll be going into it in just a second here. Hello everyone, Fernando Sandoval with Remax here. We're going to take a quick video tour of 500 New York Avenue, unit number 23. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, the first thing you notice is you're greeted by the stairs, and underneath the stairs is the laundry room. The laundry room does not have doors on it. You've noticed it's been, uh, doors have been removed. You can see the uh, flooring is actually pretty, pretty good shape and it's pretty new. There is a slight odor in there, maybe smoking odor, not sure exactly. And then you're uh, over here on the left on a pretty spacious room actually. Very spacious room and it looks like there's a door here to, I'm assuming a bathroom, I haven't checked that out yet. There's your electrical panel right here. Yeah, that basically is a Jack and Jill to the bathroom that's in the hallway. We'll take a quick look at that. So there's the bathroom. And there's the shower, lighting, okay, and we're going to move on here. Now we've got the uh, swimming pool, the common area that we videoed before, it's right next to here. So you'll have a view of the pool through this window, and it is a pretty tall ceiling. And on this end you'll have the lanai and a view to the outside. Alright, so obviously the view is really nice, uh, and then you're obviously next to the pool, which makes it pretty awesome. Um, you do have some uh, water looking stains on the top, kind of, probably nothing to be sleeping in front of us as of yet. Um, the flooring probably needs to be retouched a little bit, uh, but as I see in here, let's see if I can show you the size of this room here. So this is a pretty large room. Pretty spacious living space. Uh, there's two ceiling fans. We've got a kitchen, kitchen pass through here. And we'll take a look at the kitchen through the pass through. The cabinets look pretty good, pretty good shape. Nice countertops, electric stove, a microwave. Plenty of room. I don't know that I would have put a table there. I probably would have, you know, just taken that off and have a little bit more room. But there is a little. Uh, dry bar section here, or coffee bar if you will, um, so that's pretty nice. The colors are pretty neutral on the walls, um, it's great. The lighting's a little old if you look at those pictures, but you can replace those for 30 bucks, 30, 40 bucks here and there. And we're going to go up the stairs, like I said before, the, the carpet maybe does need to be replaced. It's lived out, it's useful life, it does have some dirty spots on it. And then up here we land into a little loft, which you could use for uh, a study. Um, and then from here you have the views down into the lower areas. And again, through the windows you could see the pool and the water, which is great. And there are smoke detectors installed. They look pretty old, probably need to be updated. Same with the switches, need to be updated. That's just a few hundred bucks, I think. I think you'd be okay there. Then we come into the master bedroom. You got a pretty spacious closet there. I wouldn't exactly call it a walk-in closet, but it's it's got enough room to stand inside of it, if you will. Again, I'm a little concerned about the doors being off here, but I'm assuming it's priced accordingly. Next, we've got the master bathroom, and then we've got the mirror here. It's a little bit older. Need some updates there, but I guess uh, what what you were reading in the description was that most of the major items have been taken care of. So the big dollar items have been taken care of. It's just a matter of updating these. Um, the sink does have some show of wear, and the wall, of course, needs to be painted, touched up. So it does need a little bit of work, a little bit of TLC. Nothing major. I don't see any major issues. Um, as I'm walking around, I'm also looking at the ceiling. You've got the popcorn ceilings over here. You've got uh, some stains here that could have been from the old roof issues, but now of course the unit has a new roof, so it should be in good shape. Um, 
according to the listing that I read. Uh, overall, you know, a couple of touch ups here and there. You see, I don't know if you could see that up there. Um, that's from when they replaced the roof, they ran a nail right through, through that section. So, uh, again, touch ups here and there. A few items to take care of, but overall, there's a lot of value, I think, in this unit. Um, I spoke with the neighbors and they said, yeah, there, there are some uh, settlement issues all over the area, not just here, not, the, not just this unit, not just this building, just the need in general in this area. You know, you've got all these water features, uh, all these ponds and lakes. And so there's, there's going to be settlement issues, uh, but they have been remediated and uh, obviously an engineering book report will be available upon request. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions. It's a pretty nice unit. Fernando Sandoval with Remax signing off. Thank you.